Hello, beautiful people. Good morning from Philippines, Metro Manila. I'm here inside a fast food restaurant. It's a small chain fast food restaurant, and there's nothing else next to my apartment. Manila is a place where is the fast food is a way of life. You start from McDonald's, KFC, Pizza Hut, Burger King, and the local uh, a chain, which is a Chow King, and uh, I, I think it's pronounced a Chow King, and Jollibee. It's not only a limit, but there's a, hundreds of independent varieties, uh, a small fast food chain you can choose from. Matter of fact, I just noticed chicken wing became a leading fast food menu in the Philippines, especially in Manila. So today, I will start my day with chicken wings. Look at this menu. Unlimited chicken wings for 298 pesos, which is close to about six dollars oh that's not a bad that's a pretty good deal let's order some mm. they have a coconut inside and the flavor is the yakult i never seen this kind of drink in the states yakult you always buy in a supermarket in a pack the yogurt section delicious this drink you can tell them how much sweetening you want. I want 50 feet. That's a parmesan parsley. Tastes good. I usually uh, don't want to eat red meat, but chicken wing, jeep fry is also not good. Too much oil, you know. It's not healthy. I'm next to a Pasig River. Pasig River is one of the uh, longest uh, river inside Metro Manila. Uh, no garbage floating, but the smell is still bad. Manila has been changed a lot. Lots of building, the road has been improved. I found something cleanness, which is very, very good. Uh, but not all the street clean that much, but majority, yes, it is clean. Pasig River is about 24 kilometers long. It meets in the Bay of Manila. There are many other small rivers flowing through Manila, but eventually they meet to Pasig River. It used to be covered with full of garbage, and there's no way the water could be visible. And I used to leave Manila over 30 years ago. If I recall, all rivers were nothing but a garbage canal. But what I see now, it has been very much progressed by the Philippine government, of course. But it is very strong, smelly. Uh, maybe garbage has been cleaned, but the sewage is still carrying and contamination in a liquid form, of course. Keep in mind, Philippines is an island nation. We're surrounded by water. It is quite impossible stopping the garbage flowing into the sea. The biggest drawback is the fishermen catching a fishes and selling into the market. Even they probably, I think they do, exporting to another country. You do not know if this fish it has been contaminated. Uh, just imagine the fish is on your dinner table. And don't take me wrong again. A Philippine is not the only one who's polluting to the uh, world ocean or ecosystem. The biggest truth is every country are responsible, more or less. Who are the guilty here then? Only the industries? Actually, all human being is the polluter. What is the reason of pollution of rivers? First, I do blame the people who does littering. Second, I blame to the local government who does not provide garbage pickup and comprehensive education to the local. My advice to those who polluted the street and river, please don't. If you love your country and the beautiful Mother Earth, then be responsible, be a good citizen. Let's save the world together. Now let me take you to Intramuros.
why most country used to build tall walls around their city because it was the best way to protect from the invader during 170 AD Romans built a lot of uh, defensive wall uh, surrounded their cities so as the Great Wall of China the whole purpose to build that longest wall in the world which is 13,171 miles just to protect from the enemy and this was taken almost thousand years to complete it was started at 700th century and it has continued until 1664 imagine now this intramuros is a historical district of manila this place was built during the spaniard 1571 it was founded by the conquistador miguel lopez de legaspi intramuros has a huge area though it's about 146 acres of land and the wall is about 20 foot tall and 8 foot thick wow it has fortified gates which is means it was protected by the military and that is i think it has a seven fortified gates in the spanish word uh, intramuros means within the wall a chinese and native filipino were forbidden to live here only the spaniard wealthy family and if the person has a mixed blood which is known as a mestizo then they are allowed to live here too now inside this intramuros it's not only the home and military camp but it has churches school business center or shops anything you need all were available and that way Spaniard personals uh, their families they stay inside the wall and they don't have to go outside as you know Spain lost the war with the United States of America so finally 1896 Spaniard left Philippines and here in the intramuros American flag were raised to start for American colony for another 48 years during the Second World War Japanese government I mean Japanese military and the United States had a war and that war was named Battle of Manila it was taken in here and this place that you're looking at right now it was totally destroyed by heavy bombardment and it was almost was a rubble you know I used to living in Manila and believe it or not I were never interested to come here I heard this place name many times but I never visited this place and today I do regret I'm saying myself why I miss this part of the town well after 30 years today I'm here and already loving it oh by the way I didn't know the Plaza de España and the historic Riverside Plaza de Mexico is just around in the corner but you know what I don't have a time today to go there maybe another day but right now I am going to the Cathedral of Manila let's go One thing I noticed, they could make this place a little bit more informative. Like example, uh, they could put here sign, Palacio the Governor is that way, or Manila Cathedral, or San Agustin Church in that way. Then people would know, but this is no sign here. So let's keep going. Oh, 
It smells so good, this flower. Wow. It smells like a perfume. <laughs> This is the Manila Cathedral and Basilica, mother of all the churches, established since 1571 by a secular priest Juan de Vivero, and it was constructed 1581 by Domingo Salazar. By that time, uh, it was built with a simple material, uh, bamboos and nipa wood. Uh, I think during that centuries, uh, many churches were built in the Philippines with the bamboos and nipa wood. Uh, so as a Quiapo church, this cathedral is part of the Intramuros. It is a huge area. This building was destroyed a few times by fire and earthquakes and the finally completed during 1958. This church visited by many popes, such as Pope VI, John Pope Paul II, and Pope Francis. Now my time is up going back to the apartment by Tuk Tuk, the three-wheeler. It's not a tricycle, it's a kind of tricycle, but it's a different. It is much uh, comfortable. Uh, I think it's much comfortable than tricycle. As you see his little son with him, probably no one uh, can take care of him. So it's better to stay with dad. Sometimes life is hard but you need to make a best decision for your child. The driver told me he believes his son is much safer with him rather than someone else taking care of him. It is very important who is your babysitter and whom you can trust or not.
my tuk tuk just dropped me here i told him to drop me here because i know my apartment is just 30 meters away from this uh, zoo manila zoo and botanical garden i came here probably when my daughter my eldest daughter was three years old i brought her here every parents uh, bring their child to the zoo or museum you know that's the kind of things um, but you know what that time and now it's a big difference now it has developed really really great and it's very nice i mean you know why not 30 years gone by and government done great job every government in the world every country their job is to taking care of their nation right build buildings airport uh, highway bridges all kind of things railway and if your government doesn't do it there is a problem so let's say that your country wherever it is you know it doesn't matter in africa in asia in north america south america that means definitely something wrong with your government okay guys thank you so much for watching my video and i do appreciate don't forget to subscribe click the bell icon so when my new video post you will get a notification i would like to say in a small word filipino word Salamat po.